Today we are making pure comfort food. I'm going to show you how to make my favorite chicken pot pie. This classic dish is topped with a cheesy biscuit layer and ready in about 30 minutes. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make, like this chicken pot pie. It's a tried and true favorite that comes together in a snap. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing we're gonna work on for our chicken pot pie casserole is the filling. So it all starts with some cooked chicken. You can use rotisserie chicken, you can use leftover chicken. I just took some boneless skinless chicken breast and roasted it in the oven with some of my all purpose seasoning. Good to go. I'll even make a double batch of it and throw it in the freezer after it's cut up so that when I want to make this pot pie again, I can throw it right in there. So to our chicken, I'm going to add some frozen mixed vegetables. And for the creamy layer, the can of cream of chicken soup. Use whatever variety you like. Low fat, no fat, all fat, whatever you prefer. You can even use a homemade cream of chicken soup. I know there's lots of recipes for it available. Before I mix it too much, I'm going to add my seasoning blends. I have some dried thyme, some garlic powder, and some all-purpose seasoning. I just love the flavor of thyme with chicken. It's such a classic combination. And of course, with the, when it comes to flavoring this pot pie, play around. Tarragon would be nice. You can really, you know, add whatever flavors suit your family. Now, this makes a nine by nine square dish, and I'm just mixing it right in the dish I'm baking it in. Why dirty another dish? But if you have a larger family and you need more, double it. It's super easy. So, we have our filling done. We're gonna move on to our biscuit layer. Now to make the biscuit layer, we are going to use some all-purpose baking mix, like Bisquick would be perfect. We're going to add an egg. We're going to add some milk. And last but not least, some shredded cheddar cheese. And then it's just a matter of stirring it all together. We just want it till it's combined. Okay, so this looks great. We're gonna bring our casserole back in and we're going to just pour our biscuit mixture right on top and then just smooth it into an even layer. All right, we are going to pop this into a preheated oven and then when it comes out, we have one more little step that's gonna take it over the top. Okay, so here is our baked pot pie, super duper hot. So final step, we have some melted butter here and I'm going to add some garlic powder to that. Give that a stir around. Now we're gonna just take a fork, randomly poke some holes in the top of our biscuit layer and brush that garlic butter right over the top. Now you want the holes because then the garlic butter just oozes down into all the nooks and crannies that we just created. Final step, we're just going to give it a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. You can use whatever herbs you like. Thyme would be nice on this because we have thyme in the filling. Just wanna give it that little bit of freshness. Now we're digging in, because this smells incredible. So I'm gonna take a nice portion, ooh, that's hot, off the corner. Just look at that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm I love when you can make a one pan meal like this. So warm, so comforting. Going in, a little bit of everything. Chicken and biscuit, vegetables. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is so good. It's so creamy on the inside and you really taste that thyme. It adds such a nice flavor with the fresh vegetables that have, and you don't even have to thaw them, you just put them right in frozen. Mmm, and a juicy chicken. You guys, pure comfort food on a plate. This chicken pot pie is definitely a keeper. What's your favorite comfort food? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want another easy to make chicken casserole, make sure you check out my creamy chicken Devon casserole. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.